Welcome to Spark in Motion, an introductory training course for Apache Spark. Spark has become the most popular programming framework for big data analytics applications, and this course will cover the core concepts in great detail to help you get started. With a firm understanding of Spark, you'll be able to conquer everything from Hadoop-style batch processing to complex machine learning analytics pipelines in an intuitive and highly performant way. And by the end of the course, you'll be able to write your own extract, transform, load app analytics applications, and also be able to work with structured and streaming data, all using the same programming constructs. So what exactly is Spark? Well, before we go through a formal description, I'd like to talk through a seemingly simple problem to solve, but one which scaled to big data proportions becomes much more complex. Consider something fairly simple. In this case, counting the frequency of each word in a text data set. Sounds easy, right? You just take your favorite programming language, and write a short program to read the input into memory and store a counter for each word in a hash map or something similar to that. But what if the data is too big to fit into memory at once? Now you'll need to figure out how to split the input data set, then read and process each part individually, updating your counts as you go along, all while being very careful to keep track of the input to make sure you have read all the splits successfully. Now let's take it a step further. And what if the data is too big to fit on a single computer? For example, say you wanted to do this with the entire internet as your input data set. Again, you'll need to figure out how to split the data, but now you also need to distribute the input among multiple machines. You'll need some sort of master process to coordinate which node is processing each part of the text and aggregate each individual machine's counts and so on and so on. Already this is getting very complicated, and we haven't even discussed any performance implications or how to handle failures. For example, if one machine runs out of memory, or there's a communication error, how do you make sure that all the data was processed? Hopefully, you're beginning to see that things very quickly get quite difficult as we scale up the data and need to distribute the work across multiple nodes. Spark will handle most of this complexity while also providing programming interfaces to do the common analytics operations so you can focus on your application logic and not all of this overhead. More formally, Spark is described as a fast and general engine for large-scale data processing. Now I'd like for you to pause the video for a moment and think about what this description means to you. Okay, so now let's go through each buzzword so that we're all on the same page. Data processing. This would be operations on data to store, retrieve, and transform information. Now traditionally this meant create, read, update, delete operations in a relational database but now it includes working with many different types of data using tools like Hadoop and Spark. Large scale. This would describe the big data problem, which is generally defined as being data sets that are too large to be processed with a single machine, but rather need to be distributed among multiple machines clustered together. This has become much more common over the last few years as a combination of more and more sources generating data, but also with storage and memory becoming much cheaper so that more information can be retained. And then besides just volume, some other characteristics of big data include variety, which would be data that is not rigidly structured into a single schema, and also velocity, which would characterize data that is arriving at either very rapid or very unpredictable rates. General Engine Now how do we build applications that can use the data we've stored on these clusters? In addition to handling the framework of executing distributed applications like we talked about earlier, Spark also provides a comprehensive set of programming interfaces which people can use to build their analytics applications. Finally, fast. Spark does all of this with excellent performance. It maps the code you write so that it will execute in an optimal way, and it very efficiently uses memory to minimize bottlenecks from slower operations like disk and network input operate. Hopefully, now you'll have a good idea of why you want to learn Spark, and the next several videos will give you a solid understanding of the fundamentals so you'll be able to use Spark to solve your analytics problems. Oh, and by the way, that word count example we discussed earlier, Here's the code for it in Spark. Now don't worry what any of this means now, and it'll be quite clear very soon, but please note that three lines in Scala is all that was needed to do what we talked about earlier.